Hello everyone! Konnichiwa minasan! My name is Amira Jade. Arumira Jade des and welcome back to my channel. Watashi no channel e yokoso. So for today's video, as you can see, tayo ay nasa labas ngayon. Opo. So we're here at Nishimachi in Minokamo City. Yes, nasa title ko na nga. This is an empty house tour. We finally got our own house after so long after so many years of wanting our own house we finally have it natupad din namin yung pangarap na to so yon without further ado let's get started ikimashu this is a 4 ldk home 4 ldk means that it has 4 rooms together with a living dining and kitchen area here's our chu schedule or parking lot it can fit up to 3 cars here we can see LP gas tanks secured to the external wall. And here is the garden. Perfect for mama's vegetable plants. We plan on putting an artificial wood deck beside those large window shutters to serve as a platform since there is a large gap. And right there is the balcony, which is accessible from the two bedrooms. In front of the house, you will see this doorbell intercom together with a mailbox. And it's also equipped with a delivery box so that the delivery personnel can drop off packages if no one is at home to receive them. Before we transfer our stuff inside the house, we did some Filipino superstitions when moving to a new house, like sprinkling salt to the four corners of the house which helps shun away the bad spirits that might be residing in the place. Then, throwing coins inwards, which is said to attract wealth and prosperity. And lastly, we took a container full of rice with us when we first entered this house as a symbol of bringing fortune and wealth and it represents that we will never run out of food throughout our stay in this house. Here is the genkan, or the entryway. It has a lower level floor where you remove your shoes. On my left side is the geta bako, or shoe cabinet, with a large mirror where you can see your final look before going outside. The light switches for the mailbox, door, entryway, and hallway. The door on my right side leads to our first room, a Japanese style room. It has tatami floors that are traditionally made of rice straw. This room has two windows and oshire, or a Japanese style closet. I can't show it to you right now because we used it as our temporary storage for our light fixtures that we will install later. Sorry! This door on the left is for the first floor toilet or toilet. There is the excess fan, a towel ring, toilet tank sink, washlet's different features, double toilet paper holder, and a small cabinet. This space right here is an under the stair storage where we can keep tools and other stuff. The third door in this hallway leads to the Senlen Dai or wash basin with mirror and sink cabinet. You can adjust the water temperature this way and it has a pull-out bathroom sink faucet. On the other side of the room is for the sentaku, or the washing machine space. And here is the huroba, or the bathroom. It has this bathroom here slash dryer slash ventilation system control panel. The 
Inside the bathroom is the shower area, the bathtub with a water control panel, and it has a second water control panel that's placed between the kitchen and living area, so that if you want the bathtub to fill itself automatically with a preset water temperature on a scheduled time, you can do it from here. Here is our small pantry, which will be where we store our foods. And next we have the kitchen. A large kitchen sink with a pull-out faucet in which you can adjust the water temperature and also has a water filter built in. The kitchen counter has seven cabinets where we can store a lot of pots and pans as well as other equipments or utensils for cooking and baking. And the three burner gas stove with a small pull-out grill and a Tajima range hood on top of it. There is also a glass door right here that leads to the right side of the house close to the garden area. This side is going to be our dining area and we're planning to put some bar stools right there on the bar counter and our dining table on the opposite side. The space is a little bit small but I'm sure we'll manage to get everything in place. Our living area will be on this side. It's dark here because we haven't installed the light fixtures yet. <laughs> the intercom is located right here. So glad that we have this. I won't have to rush to the door every time someone rings the doorbell to ask who's at the door and for what purpose are they here for. Yay! This is the main door for the living, dining, and kitchen area. And now, let's go upstairs! Woohoo! The first door you will see on the second floor leads to the second toilet, or toilet. It has the same features as the first floor toilet. The only difference is it doesn't have a small cabinet, but it is much bigger than the other toilet. Then, we have three doors that lead to the remaining three bedrooms. These are all western style rooms. The bedroom to the right side has two windows, floorings instead of tatami mats, and a closet. This bedroom has this small walk-in closet same floorings as the other bedroom a sliding glass door that leads to the balcony and the normal window on the side That little square thingy is an air vent that's gonna be open at all times except during a typhoon it's very important to keep the rooms well ventilated. Last but not the least, this is the master bedroom. With a large closet, a normal window on the side, and a sliding glass door that also leads to the balcony. Let's check out the balcony. So there are two metal arms affixed right there that can be pulled up and down and has spaced holes into which long metal poles can be inserted. This is where we'll hang our laundry to dry. So before I say goodbye to you guys, I just want to say thank you to these people 
Mr. Hiroyuki Okada and Mr. Shoko Adachi from Gaia Design Office for guiding and helping us to settle in comfortably to our new house. Big thanks for the help in the processing of everything that we need with this big move. If you also want to have your own home here in Japan, I'll be putting their details in the description box below so you can contact them. So that's it for my empty house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, soon, siguro after we put everything um, in the proper places, um, yon gago ulit ako ng house tour. So yon, uh, syempre hindi na siya empty. <laughs> <laughs> so yon. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Bye bye.